Heading outside. Well, that was quick. How do you guys get onto this stream so fast? Okay, give me glasses so I can see here. All right, we're uh, okay. So anybody watching? We got a third stream happening because we're gonna uh, we're gonna let the ducklings out. It's absolutely gorgeous out. It's time for them to come outside. Hello, Jean. So I didn't get all the parts when I was in town. I got uh, some of the parts, but not all the parts. So we're gonna get the ducks out of here. So let's go let the uh, the adult ducks out first. So I gotta uh, uh, I gotta switch this around. Oh, this is a this is a hot dog. Look at that. It's hot. It was I, I had enough uh, in town. So let me just uh, change the. Um... Okay. Okay, I'm back, guys. I had to change the Wi-Fi to outside. Okay, so let me uh, switch this around. Okay, I'm back. I had to change the Wi-Fi to outside because I was in the barn, obviously. Um, we're gonna let the adult ducks out, and then I'm going to uh, uh, get the uh, the big camera, bring it outside, and we're gonna go for the second attempt of letting the uh, the ducks out. It's absolutely gorgeous right now. I think it's like about 27 degrees. So uh, I think the babies are gonna have a good time out to, out today. Don't forget to like the uh, the stream guy while while you're out of here. <laughs> Don't forget to like the stream, guys and girls, before I get going here. Um, I had um, a little bit of a burnout happen in town. I went and got the parts, well, half the parts I needed. And I'm not lying, guys. I, well, I got the, I got 20 bags of corn from Robert, but I went into the liquor store. <laughs> I wish I went to the liquor store. I went into the hardware store. No lie. Standing in the hardware store in the middle of the, uh, the plumbing section looking at the parts, I went brain dead. I was so tired, I, I couldn't even uh, I, I couldn't even think. So I said, I'm just gonna come home and focus on. Uh, I gotta clean up some things here. I've gotta get uh, the barn or the garage cleaned up, and I've got some domestic stuff I gotta do. No, I didn't nap. I wish I would have. I feel like it right now. Come on out, girls. No, the geese aren't going to the homeless, guys. Yeah, Aaron, I gotta, I gotta finish my laundry off, and but I gotta clean my garage up. It's an absolute disaster from this week. <laughs> it's an absolute disaster and I'm like I'm so half asleep yes the metal shed is going to become uh, the goose shed that's the pro that's the plan it's because I'm going to uh, uh, do a uh, uh, what do you call it oh I can't even think of what the term is um, a Kickstarter I'm gonna do a Kickstarter that if we can't raise enough money to do the barn uh, to fix the barn and put a gazebo on the front of it and uh, insulate the uh, the metal shed uh, it ain't gonna happen that's the plan so and if it, if, it, if it doesn't happen then everybody gets their money back and we don't worry about it because to do the uh, the barn is a three and a half day job with the to get the the guy here that does barns uh, to that he knows what he's doing with his crew and it takes one day to get a crew here with their foam sprayer to uh, spray the uh, uh, um, The metal shed oh boys, I'm so tired guys as you can tell I'm having a real hard time I Gotta cut my lawn too, but I, I don't have the energy like I said I was in the uh, hardware store I'm not kidding. I was standing there in front of all the fittings and I, I couldn't I couldn't do two and two equals five I was done so stripper and Magoo hanging together. <laughs> Where are you going, Magoo? Plus, you're not gonna believe it. I gotta do egg recon. I didn't do egg recon yesterday. <laughs> Little strippers.
Yes, Jasmine, that's why I'm uh, I'm gonna take it semi easy today. I still got work to do. Oh, that little duck. She knows uh, that I'm talking about her. <laughs> oh, to replace the barn guys with a shipping container is not, that's not the right thing to do. The barn is worth more money than a shipping container. Plus, it means some serious work. Actually, I'll walk you over there and we'll, I'll just show you because I've had so many people mention that. The barn got an attic. It's here. It's basically, it's the building is worth, to replace the barn, it's worth about, about $22,000 to replace it. It's gonna cost like, what was it, $3,700? $3,680, something like that, to fix it. It's, it's just, it's way better. And then I've got, I still got the building. But if I don't, you know, a lot of people say, well, you know, just replace it, tear the barn down. Well, you tear the barn down, what happens to the back of the building here? It's all connected, like, that's all one big attic. It's 40 feet of attic up there. So, you know, you just don't, you know, dispose of a perfectly good barn. Just because it's got two rotten logs in the bottom, um, you know, it doesn't make any sense. Now, to add, now to add a shipping container, you know, like a, a, a 10 foot by 20 foot over here on this part of the, uh, the pen over here, and then, you know, insulate it, that's something that uh, makes sense. And, you know, and I found out, oh yes, I found out that all you got to do is get a permit, 100 bucks, and uh, you get a permit, and you can have a shipping container on your property. So that that uh, that's that can happen. You know, we could put it right over there. We could put a, a, a you know a 10 by 20. Uh, but uh, the, here's the, the the thing though. A friend of mine just bought two shipping containers, and uh, the uh, the smell, the chemical smell. I, I, he had two of them. He can't figure out what the smell is. It's like it's just it's it just I wouldn't want I wouldn't put an animal in it. The, the smell was that bad. So you don't know when you're buying these shipping containers, you know what they're going to be like inside. Like he got these two, and uh, he bought them for storing his furniture. <laughs> he did, he won't even put his furniture in them. That's how bad the smell is. And it's like it, it he power washed them and scrubbed them with soap and water and everything. And they can't figure out like we're th he, actually we were looking at it and we're thinking that it he actually has to risk, rip the floor out because I'm thinking that the. There's something got spilled in the shipping container that is underneath the floor. But you never know when you're buying those things. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, um, we're gonna let the ducklings out. It's a beautiful day. I've gotta do, uh, I've, uh, I gotta do some plumbing work. Um, I've gotta uh, change the water head tops on the, um, uh, the, the uh, hose line here. I've got, right now I've got the single head. So I've gotta put my double head on top of here with the two valves. So I've got to go downstairs, turn the water off, take this off and put the double head on that's already pre-made in the garage. Um, and then, okay I, just, okay, I thought I stepped on something here, but I didn't. Okay, so uh, I've got to do that because I got to have a constant line running for the, uh, the ducklings. So I'm going to uh, shut the stream down. I'm going to go in, turn off the stream on the, the, the floor, get things set up and hopefully we can have um, uh, um, what you call it a uh, a duck rush oh, man. I'm really tired guys I'm I'm not all together <laughs> I, I hit some kind of wall on this trip into town it just I, I just I, I guess I just ran out of energy so I'm gonna end the stream and then we're gonna get organized here for an absolutely gorgeous day. I think the ducks are gonna come out uh, really fast. That's what my gut's telling me. I think uh, because the, this morning when I took that plastic off and they were sticking their heads through the wire, I think they're pent up. Plus it's absolutely like, well, let's go look at the temperature before I turn this stream off. Yeah, I don't wanna keep whining guys, but oh. I don't know, I've had so much energy all week. Like I've just been on like this, I've just been up here, you know, pinned. It hit me. I, I picked up the corn from Roberts and then I got in the the, uh, the hardware store there and it just like, I, it was like, boom, it was over. Oh yeah, it's it's 28 degrees here, look at that. That's a, and with the sun beating on the side of the barn, we're talking some pretty, uh, epic duck stuff I think they're gonna they're gonna have a good afternoon I'm not uh, I'm not going to um, I'm not going to uh, 
I'm not going to clean the barn right away. Oh, am I? <laughs> this this is life, guys. This is the this is reality of uh, <laughs> of of what I have done here this week, man. Um, Africans, yeah, I got some Africans. So I got 20 bags of corn for the Canada geese. So we got uh, we got lots of food for the Canada geese. Because the goslings are coming in, to, and they're eating the the Canada geese goslings now are eating the uh, the corn. So I've got, I got to keep the corn here to keep them coming in, because I really think that they're going to get so used to me that I'm going to be walking around in the yard, and it's going to be like last year. Oh, thank you, Rachel, for the tip, big time. Ten pounds, I think it's ten pounds, big time. Thank you. Um, helps pay for the the 140 dollars of the corn I just bought this morning to keep the Canada geese. Cold. We're crazy here. Are the things we're doing on this show, eh? Um, but I really want to get the Canada geese to keep coming in here because the babies, here's the big thing that's really cool. Because last year I saw it with my own eyes, you know, working in the pen, how the Canada geese, uh, the gosling was coming right into the pen while I was working, like coming into the feeder to steal feed. We've got 11. I've counted 11 this morning. So I think we lost one, but it was just still, that's pretty good. If we can get these 11 Canada geese so used to me, that they're coming right into the pen and stealing food and hanging around like they're gonna they're gonna be less apprehensive than their parents are like because they're gonna think this human guy walking around is just you know it's part of the deal here so i think that's what uh my plan is anyways that's what i'm doing okay so i'm gonna shut this down and then i'm going to uh, take the stream off the floor I gotta go set it all up, put the battery pack on it, all that kind of neat stuff, and then we're gonna set it up outside here, and we're gonna let the ducks out for a beautiful afternoon. What time is it? One o'clock. So they're gonna they're gonna get at least five hours outside today. I'm gonna clean the barn later on. I'm not gonna clean it right away because I, I, I like I said I gotta clean my garage up. It's an absolute just a pig side because I've been working here and I don't put things away this week because I was like so focused trying to get everything done for the ducks. So I'm gonna turn this off and then I'm gonna go with things uh, happening. So that we can, uh, you know, hopefully get a good duck. I think it's going to be a good rush. I, I think I think it's going to be an awesome rush because they they really wanted it. So goodbye. I'm rambling. I'm really tired. You can tell. Oh boy, live streaming this week has been nuts.